the bottom line is this. Hertz won last week. Won. Didn't just play okay, but the team won against the best, hottest defense in the league. Right? Behind a line that was supposedly so terrible, that's why Carson Wentz keeps getting sacked, keeps throwing interceptions, keeps fumbling and turning the ball over. It's the offensive line's problem. That's the reason why he can't find receivers. He doesn't trust what he sees. Well, it was fine with Hurts. And it's not just because Hurts was mobile, as I mentioned. You know, Randall Cunningham got sacked 60 times one season and 72 another for the Eagles. Right? Offensive line, if it's no good, I don't care if you're fast. No, it's because Hurts just ran Peterson's offense. He asked what he was, he did what he was asked to do to the best of his ability. And we need to find out about that ability. How great is it? Right? But he just played within himself. He didn't do too much. The only time the ball got turned over is when they held him up and someone came and punched the ball out. But it wasn't because of bad decisions. Right? So he has that mentality. Do what is asked of me. And that's going to help. But there's something else, guys. The Eagles franchise... Howie Roseman, the GM, went out and drafted Hurts in the second round instead of getting receiver help or help on the defense. Didn't trade for DeAndre Hopkins. Didn't move up in the draft to get C.D. Lamb. Used that second round pick. Saved it. Those would have been good moves. To go get a quarterback because he feared Wentz's regression. Oh, well, that must mean there's, there's pressure on Jalen Hurts. No. No. Actually, what this franchise has shown is they're going to give Jalen Hurts a look right now because they need to decide – whether they have to go out and draft another quarterback. There's some pressure there. Hertz would like to show enough that they believe in him going forward, but it ain't to hold off Carson Wentz. They got to sit Carson Wentz the rest of the season, and they know it. So they got to sit Carson Wentz the rest of the season, and they know it, so there's no pressure. But there is pressure because he wants to be the starting quarterback into the future, and there's something right. Which one is it? Well... How much is he under this week? You have to, he's under some pressure every week because he'd like to show them that he can handle the job. Sure, there's always pressure in the NFL, Stephen A., but there's no special pressure this week to fend off Carson Wentz so there's not a quarterback controversy going forward. They have to sit Carson Wentz the rest of the year. Hertz has to know this. They have to sit Carson Wentz the rest of the year, but I'm going to sit up there and say, because I'm going to answer the question, that there is some pressure on him. And the reason why there's pressure on him is because, again, all the things that you highlighted about the organization picking him. Well, guess what, Max? He has an opportunity to keep the people on board that had a faith that has faith in them. Because if he ends up sticking up the joint, if you're Jeffrey Lurie, you might get rid of Peterson and Howie Roseman. And if you get rid of both of them, what kind of security blanket or kind of support base is Jalen Hurts going to have moving forward? He's not going to have that. So all of these games are important. It's not necessarily important for him to perform at an elite level, but he needs to progress week after week after week. They, he needs to show the kind of promise that makes them say, OK, we made the right choice in selecting this kid. This kid has promise. We made the right choice and him potentially being the successor to Carson Wentz because of what he brings to the table. Because if he's not able to do that for you and you squash that, that notion uh, o o almost immediately, that seals the fate of the two guys or at least one of those guys in either Peterson or Roseman who had such faith in you that they elected to draft you in the second round. That's the, that's the situation involving Jalen Hurts as far as I'm concerned. Right. Well, but you just accused me of not answering the question implicitly by saying that you're going to answer the question. The question is, how much pressure is Jalen Hurts under? Not whether or not there's pressure. Of course, duh, we all know there's pressure in the NFL to start at quarterback. Obviously, there is some pressure. How much? Are you saying there's tremendous pressure on Hurts this week? Because I'm saying that's not the case, to be very clear. There's not like the utmost well, pressure all, on Hurts Well, first of all, right don't now. compare your answers to mine. Because I highlighted one point, and I illuminated that one point instead of dancing like Fred Astaire. That's number one. I specifically said Peterson and Roseman's jobs are on the line. If he stinks up the joint, his support base could be gone, and it could cost him his career. This that week? would mean a significant pressure. Now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't use the word tremendous pressure or significant pressure, but I thought by highlighting the fact that the head coach and the GM who ultimately could lose their jobs if he stinks up the joint, I thought that was significant. Yeah, that, that's, that's fine with me, Stephen A. I answered the question. You turned okay. the question into whether or not there was pressure. Right? I, that's okay, not it. Okay, it's how yeah. much is okay. he under. Of course there is oh some. My God. There, of course there is some. Well, that's okay, – by the way, read the right. question. My how bad, my bad, Max. Is you answer, you answer the question. So, you answer so, the question. No problem. You answer the question, Max. Right, right. right. You answer Stephen the question. A. 
Congratulations. No problem. You retract it. That's fine. The point is this yeah. Sunday. I am retracting. This yes, Max. I'm retracting Sunday. Question. Makes particular... you feel better? Yes. Good. Good. <sighs> okay. Oh, I, I didn't feel. I didn't feel bad in the first place. This upcoming Sunday, okay. especially after a good performance in a win against the Saints' defense, especially knowing that he will have more chances coming up because Carson Wentz cannot start for the rest of the season because they need to find out about Jalen Hurts. It means that this is not his Super Bowl. This is not, oh, my God, do or die time for Jalen Hurts. And, in fact, even conceiving of it that way would be bad for Hurts. But I don't think he does. I think he is taking it one game at a time. And when you saw the way he played against the, the Saints, the whole thing with Carson Wentz trying to do too much. Hurts didn't try to do too much. He did what was asked of him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.